Hi, a question has come in about getting data into past version 3. Uh, and if we look here, we'll see I've just downloaded and am running version 3.09. Uh, this will be a very short video because all I want to do is talk a little bit about some of the options. Okay, so it's changed a little bit. We've got two modes here. Select where we can select the data and this one where I can click and drag the rows and columns about. I also have, or we also have over here, column attributes and row attributes. So the column attributes we'll get to in a minute. The row attributes, pretty obvious down here, color and symbol. So let's head over. Here's the data. And I'm just going to use this here. This is a simple two-factor type of design. And with one variable, I would normally analyze this or test hypotheses about averages using analysis of variance. So copy over to PAST. Now I need to think about where the data is going to go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on that cell and paste at that point. Go. So what's happened, as you can see, the column labels have changed to reflect the values in here. The row here has not changed. The data are in here. And the row names are still 1 through 220. If I had, back here, if I had a first column which had labels for the rows, then when I'm pasting in here, I'll click in there. And then the first column will go into the row names or row labels, and the first row in my data will go as the column labels. But I specifically went here this time because I do not have row labels. Okay. This sets the type of variable. Group, ordinal, nominal, or binary. And a dash is just going to be an ordinary numerical variable. What I'm going to do here for the first two columns is set these to be grouping variables. Whoops, I selected there. And that tells PAST that those two variables are labels for different categories and you can see that reflected like a little G in white on blue now. I'm not going to do anything for this third column which has the actual numerical data because it's not a grouping variable and it's certainly not ordinal, nominal or binary. Okay, I can then turn these off and go about the analysis. Before going to analyses, I may wish to change the black dot so that it represents or has different colors and symbols for the different groups. In an earlier video, which I've tagged a comment on, I said you couldn't do this, but I was wrong. However, the way in which you do this is perhaps not entirely obvious. For instance, if I click here, row colors, eh, no valid data in array. Not especially helpful. If I select the whole lot like this, edit, now it brings up a dialog box here where I can change the color. for the different groups there and the symbol. Uh, I'm trying to 
again a little idiosyncratic here and then I I would like to see a filled circle but there's plenty of combinations there anyway so arguing that that is probably being a bit fussy and then those will show up if I do some kind of graph say I'm not going to fiddle, I haven't got the data set up properly to do a graph I just wanted to show getting it in and getting it set up 